order for us to make a simple representation of the combustion chamber in the Ford 6 liter diesel engine, we're going to need a template to draw from. And what we will do is use the gasket images that are downloadable from the internet to serve as a template for our drawing. So I choose a suitable image from the internet and I use the insert canvas tool in Fusion 360 to download the image that I got from the internet. I will use that image as a template, but before I go, I also have to scale it. Open up the canvas that has been inloaded. I look at the screenshot and I calibrate it to the 95 millimeter bore diameter. I then use the properly dimensioned gasket as a sketch plane. And on top of that sketch plane, I draw a rectangle to represent a portion of the block. I'm just gonna concentrate on one cylinder and I use some lines in here to identify key features. I wanted to draw a bore hole and I wanted to draw holes for the bolts that hold the gasket, the head, and the cam carrier onto the block. I then draw that portion. You can see that I use the template to properly locate the bolt holes and the piston bore that sits in the center of the block. And I removed a portion of intrusion by the adjacent piston or bore cylinder. That hole goes all the way through, and you'll notice I have a 10 millimeter recess, and then I also have threaded holes to accommodate the 14 by 2 metric bolts that will hold the rest of the components to the block. And what I'm really interested in getting at is what is the gasket pressure along this interface between the block and the head? I then use this template here to draw the head on top of that block, and that head is also made of cast iron. If I hide the block, you will see that I created the head and it has clearance holes for the bolts to pass through it, but I also created a hemispherical impression up into the head to accommodate the valves. I didn't draw the valves, I'm doing a simplification, but beyond that, I put the aluminum cam carrier on top of the head, and when I have everything together, you will see that I can then move into the simulation space. I can put proper bolts into these holes that pass all the way through down into the block. I can apply an original preload to those bolts, and then I can apply my internal combustion pressure on the cylinder walls and the cylinder head. When I move into the simulation space, I will then do a static simulation where I properly constrain the components. I apply loads to the components. I've also made sure that my block is cast iron. My head is cast iron. My cam carrier is made of aluminum. I'm going to constrain this overall system by applying a remote connection, which means I'm choosing a central point in the center of the borehole in the block as a reference point, allow deformation about that fixed reference point. So I allow deformation of the block and the head away from that fixed reference point, which allows the center of the cylinder to remain fixed throughout the simulation. I then apply internal pressure to both the cylinder wall and the cylinder head. And then I put bolted connectors, which you will see here. I have one, two, three, four bolts. You will see that the bolts pass through the cam carrier, through the head, and they thread down into the block. And you can just get a peek of those bolts at the bottom side. I specified the overall length of the bolts. I specified that the block had a one centimeter offset and then was threaded all the way through to the bottom of that block. And the bolted connectors themselves, under the constraints tab, we have the option of choosing bolted connection. And when I put a bolted connector in, I'll just go ahead and edit one of those bolts right now. You will see this window and you will see the bolt and the window allows us to choose the location for the bolt. Well, we want it to go through the hole at the top of the cam carrier. We want it to be in a threaded hole and the location of that hole is down in the block. You can see that blue outline cylindrical 
location there that the bolt diameter is 14 millimeters. My overall bolt length is 238 millimeters. My usable thread length is 133. And then I'm going to use, instead of a torque, I have the option of doing torque or preload. I'm going to go ahead and use the full yield preload on the bolts and we calculated that earlier from the cross-sectional area and the yield strength of the ISO 10.9 grade bolt and we found that the preload value is 108,100 newtons. I make my bolt out of steel and I do that for each of the bolts that are holding the carrier the head onto the block. I then apply an 18.6 megapascal internal pressure and I can then look at the results of the finite element simulation. And what I have done here, decided to remove the block and the cam carrier, and I'll go ahead and remove all of the bolts as well. And we will look down on the top of the gasketed area on the block. And I've used the surface probe to look at the contact pressure at a number of locations. And you will notice my internal pressure is 18.6. MPA and so my contact pressure has to be greater than that in order for me to seal the combustion chamber from the exterior. And you'll see that a lot of these loads are in fact higher than 18, but there are some locations where we drop below 18, which indicates a bit of a problem. Now, I oversimplified this entire solution because I just wanted to look at a single cylinder. I didn't want to worry about drawing the entire block on one side. And so I'm missing some of the constraint of the neighboring bolts. But this is a reasonable representation of what is happening at that gasketed interface and that our contact pressure might well be much smaller than we want it to be in order to prevent head gasket blowout.